Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another Jim Henson's Dinosaurs video, and of course these are created by NECA Toys, and they have done a fantastic job. If you know their 90s TMNT movie line, it's pretty much the same thing. They look like stills taken exactly from the old show. Now, in true NECA fashion, they got the little flappy opening box. Make sure you get yourself a good looking one if you find it on shelf, nice photos, and you get to see everything within the box, which is always a nice touch. Now, of course, like I said, this hails from the old ABC show, Dinosaurs, and on the backside, lots of photos. Shows you exactly what you are getting, everything you can do. You can screen grab this or just stop the video if you want to read up on Baby Sinclair. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. Thank you so much. You guys collectively across the board have nailed this line. And if you need high chair instructions on how to assemble, they're right there on the bottom of the box with the barcode as well. I found mine at Target and hopefully you'll find yours soon as well. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. We're going to have some fun, show you how it's done. TGIF with a look at the brand new NECA Toys Jim Henson's Dinosaurs figure, Baby Sinclair. Now, of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging, and there's quite a few things inside the box, quite a few small items as well, so you always want to keep a close eye on all of that. You do get several extra hands. These are the weapon holding hands, essentially, right? If you're a big fan of dinosaurs like myself, you'll know that a frying pan or a baseball bat is always within reach of baby Sinclair. Now, this is cool. You get several little plushy toys that showed up throughout the course of the show, right? And they all are beautifully painted, including this ankylosaur, right? That's pretty cool. And a very Barney-esque character, all green with some purple and whites for the eyes. Now, you do get the giant hippopotamus toy, which is a lot bigger than the prior three plushies, but hey, it still makes for a great looking accessory. And like I said, yes, you do get a frying pan. It is a basic frying pan, right? Not a lot to it. But I love that they went the extra mile and put in all the paint details, much like the baseball bats. Not much to it, but it's a bat, along with a wooden spoon that actually looks like a miniature wooden spoon. You do get the little cookie man, right? It has little white frosting right there on it with the face and the eyes. You get a basic blue bowl, but again, it's the attention to detail. That's really cool to see. A slingshot for old baby Sinclair to use. It's definitely not functional, but you get the idea. It's just another weapon for him to yield. And you also get this tiny little creature, which is a nice touch because throughout the course of the show, little tiny various creatures would show up and they work well within the dinosaurs. A slug of a figure with some nice paint. You also get a remote control of which baby Sinclair was known to mess with Earl, switching the TV on and off. And you get a baby bottle, which of course you do, right? And an extra head portrait for when baby Sinclair grew the golden horn, right? <laughs> That's a nice touch. Although I do wish the jaws would move on these figures just to bring them to life that much more. Now, essentially in the box, you have a build a high chair with this piece being the platform of which you will connect it. You see all the slots right here to this giant stone chair, which is awesome as well. Very well done, just beautifully sculpted. This is a nice touch right here. Everything is just so perfectly recreated from the show. And that is what NECA does so well. So you take the top high chair piece and you line up the notches and simply connect it as such. If you get stuck, the instructions, like I said, are on the bottom of the box. Now you also get a little blanket for baby Sinclair. And this is primarily meant to go on the back of the high chair. It's not gonna do much else in terms of function, but there you have it, the entirety of baby Sinclair's chair. And one part in the back right here I thought may have been missing or fell out. No, it's like that on everybody's, so don't worry, nothing's missing from your big old build a high chair. Now, baby Sinclair himself, the tiny little figure, right? Of course he is. He's the smallest member of the Sinclair family, and he has a really nice tail of which you will attach. That's a separate piece in the box. And like I said, there's not a whole heck of a lot to this figure, but for the character of baby Sinclair, the amount of articulation that they put into this, it is perfect. Essentially, it's a dinosaur that sits 
in a high chair and then will occasionally hit its father in the face with a weapon. All right. That's the extent of the characterization of baby Sinclair. And I just love all the articulation for his toes, his feet. There's enough there for, again, this type of character. I'm not expecting to be flipping around, doing karate kicks. It is the perfect amount of articulation for a character that sits most of the time. The fun of this character, though, is putting him in the high chair and seeing how close they have captured the look of these puppet Muppet things from the old ABC show. And yes, they have nailed it, much like they did with Earl Sinclair. And all of the weapons that he has really does serve in bringing this type of character to life, especially the little creatures, and you can swap the heads. And that's a nice point, is that everything swaps easy peasy, but nothing is loose. So from the wooden spoon to all the little plush dinosaurs, everything looks great and really brings this character to life. Now, he goes great with Earl Sinclair. You can have Earl hold his various accessories that baby Sinclair and vice versa come with, and you can whack him several times in the face. And if you're wondering how these two scale, I would say pretty perfect. Baby Sinclair being so much of a tinier dinosaur than the big old lumbering Earl. And I really can't wait to have the entirety of the Sinclair family. I think that that's gonna look great. I'm especially looking forward to the grandma. I'm really curious how they're gonna go about creating her. She's quite a character. And like I said, you can have all of baby Sinclair's accessories and creatures work with Earl and vice versa. And I would love to see all the little creatures of dinosaurs, especially the ones that live in the fridge, come to life in action figure form. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new baby Sinclair from the NECA Toys Jim Henson's Dinosaurs line. They nailed it. I will say this, though. I think a lot of people will look at this and go like, well, there's not a whole heck of a lot in the box. For what you get in the box... Beautifully painted, beautifully articulated, and beautifully recreated from what you see on the show to action figure form. So consider that, because not a lot of action figure companies really do that these days. Negatoys brings it home in spades, and again, I cannot wait to see where they take this dinosaur's line. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything dinosaurs. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, we all know how the show ended. But let's talk about the individual episodes going forward, right? And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.